Welcome back to Spy Money. We're going to talk about ATM strategy, how I use it, what you can do with it, and I'm going to show you most everything that uh, it'll do. So um, there's some other features it does. Uh, it's not really pertinent to what we do, but I'm going to show you what I do with it and what you can do. So you come over to ATM strategy, click on custom, and that's going to open up this window. And this window gets... Um, when you first look at it, it's kind of a confusing, but it's really simple. Uh, let's just plan on doing four contracts. So we're going to do um, four different profit targets. So we're going to add to how we have four, and we're going to change this one to one. So each one of these are going to be its own strategy. So you're going to take a profit on the first contract at one part. Your second contract, you're going to be another profit target. Your third one will be another, and fourth will be the runner. So our stop loss, we're going to put at, say, 10 points, which is four ticks of points, so it's 40. So we're going to change all of these to the same stop loss. And then on this one, we're going to go ahead and change this to, say, we want 10 points, so that would be 40. And then let's say we want to go um, another five points, so that's going to be 60. And then we're going to do another five points. That's going to be 80. And then we're going to leave this one to runner. So we're not going to have a profit target on it. We're just going to let the trail stop follow it. So this is like a typical strategy that you would use. So we go into none on the stop strategy. And we're going to click custom. Now this is you can put a break even plus one. Uh, or you know whatever you want with the break even. Which we're not going to do on this one. But you, know, you understand what a break even is. And this is where you would do it. And we're also going to do an auto trail. So we're going to have this one set up to where our stop is at 40, like it was on the previous page. And then our profit trigger is going to be 1. So as soon as that price moves up one tick, it's going to start trailing it with this trail stop. So we're going to have that there. And then the frequency is every time it goes up a tick, it's going to um, advance it. So we're going to save this one, and we're going to call this um, Course um, Trail. So we know what, what we're using here. And then we're going to click OK, and then we're going to come over here, and we're just going to add the same one. So we don't have to type it again. And we're going to do this one the same, and this one the same. So now all of these have the same 40 tick trail stop behind them. It's that easy. It's really not hard. Uh, once you really think about this, it's not bad at all. Now, there's some more settings down here. Uh, this is nothing that I use. Uh, the chase if touched, um, what it'll do is if you if it goes up and touches your limit and then it pulls back, it'll bring up uh, break-even stops and stuff like that. I don't use any of this. You're welcome to uh, contact Ninja Trader. They have some videos on this, but this is nothing that I use. Uh, I'm not going to go over it. Um, so we're going to click OK, and actually if we come back over, uh, we can save this whole template, and we're going to call this Course uh, for Profit, um, actually it'll be for Contracts uh, with, um, can type, with um, uh, three profit targets, one runner, and a 40 trail stop. That's what I'm going to call it. So you have your own stuff that you want to do. So now when we come over here, we can always go to this and we can see, well, this is in our course. We're doing four contracts, two with three profit targets. That should have been a T, not an F. One runner and a 40 trail stop. So that lets me know what we're actually doing with it. So now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start our thing up and I'm going to put a buy market in. Now, right now, let's stop this so we can look at it. I'll get it real big. So right now, we've got four trail stops. We've got one target there, one target here, and one target there. So as this thing runs up and, and advances, if we don't get stopped out, it'll just keep on going, and our trail stop will keep on going for all four targets. You can see there's a four, and we have one, 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 which means, well, we got stopped out. It's too tight. So if we do a, um, let's do a, um, just to make this run up so we won't get stopped out. I'm not saying to do this in your, 
regular trading, but. And then we're going to bring these in, course trail, course trail. This is so we can do this course. All right, so, and actually we needed to save that template back to there. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get back in and we're going to hit a, a buy market. Now, see how it's already moving up as our, if that moves up, this moves up with it. And then when we hit our target up here, this will go ahead and advance with it. So just keep on watching it and then it will just keep on going. The fourth target will not hit until uh, the, it gets stopped out. So we just took out one and let's see if we take out the other one. There's second. Now if we don't get stopped out, it'll go on up and hit the other one. Now if we'd had a break even plus one, we'd already got stopped out. That's why I don't use break evens. I just, I don't like them. So there's our third one. So now we're 100% in profit because we've already taken our profit and now our runner's going up with it. So we have no, um, we have no target for profit on this. It'll just keep on running. So let me speed this up and see where it goes. So if we'd had a profit target, we'd already be out of it. And since the runner's taken off, then you know we can just let it keep on going. Right now that runner's at fourteen hundred dollars. So what we've got is that trail stop going right behind it, and if it would pull back and hit it, we're still going to make money. So we've got a loose trail stop on it to where it's got enough room to work and make the money. There now it took it. So that little trade, you know, we got like $2,000 on that trade total, which was pretty good. Now, if we'd had a more loose stop, then, you know, we would have, we'd still give it more money. But, you know, you, there's a stopping point of what you can do, uh, your drawdown. But that's how your ATM strategy works. And um, you can change this as much as you want. If you put in 10 contracts, uh, let's say you did, um, uh, you wanted to take out, let's say you did 10 and you wanted to take out uh, five right there. You wanted to take out two there. It's at seven, eight, nine. So take out two here. And then we go ahead and save that one. Now when we buy it, now we've got 10 contracts. We've got 10 stops. We've got five limits. We've got two and two. And then we've got two that's going to keep on running. So you can change this to adjust the over how you're trading. It just depends on you know how much uh, you want to put into it, and you know where do you think it's going to go. You can put your trail stops where you want. So there's three. Now we're over the break even, and it's just trailing. So it'll just keep on going. Right now we're trailing with one. We've already taken out nine contracts, and that happened in a matter of um, um, about. 10 15 minutes real time but right now we've got our runner going now we could have changed that to where we could have had five runners going now i know some people that will um that will do like this they'll do 20 contracts and then they'll take um uh, 10 right off the bat and then they'll take um uh, five say off of um, actually say what they do five be 10 12 14 so let's take off three right there so we're taking off 15 immediately and then we're going to take off uh, to be 10 13 15 so we're going to put five there so if we do this and we jump in now we've got a 10 right there we'll pause it we've got 20 on our trail stop, we've got 10 on the first target, three, two, and that leaves five on the last. Now this may get stopped out here. We'll see what it does. We're at that fib, so it looks like it might bounce down. But we're at the 38, it usually goes to the 50 or just the 618. 
It's just uh, trying to get around that. It's using it as a support now, your fib. So there's 10 that we took right off the bat. There's 13. Now we got stopped. But if we hadn't, if we kept on going, and you know those big numbers, you know you're making a lot of money doing that. But you know you can adjust this uh, ATM strategy uh, to fit anything you want. You can even change. Um, actually, that one right there should have been on the 80, um, but it had that. It, the initial target wasn't there, but the trail stop was. Um, but if you can take this one and maybe you want to keep this one at 100 and that would stay, well, let's make it a little bit further so you can see it better. Let's say we make it 140. And I'm just doing this to show you what you can do with it. Um, so on this one, if we, if we do it by market, now see this one's staying. Now eventually it's going to take off and start going too, but it's got to go so far. And what that's going to do is allow this one to go ahead. There it goes. It's making this one have more room to wiggle up here. Now, you wouldn't want to go this far, but I wanted to show you, you know, what you could do with it. So once it actually got up to a certain spot, then the trail started following it. So you can change this around. You can change each one of them, uh, customize it completely up to you, uh, and you know, it'll work pretty good for you. The ATM strategy, when you set one up, go to a demo account, your SIM, and use it on that to make sure you've got everything set right. And playback works really good for doing stuff like this. That way you can actually see you know, where it's actually going. You can speed it up and, and you don't have to wait forever. So, But that's how you use the ATM strategy. It works really well. I use it on every single trade. And... You know, I've got different uh, ones down here that I use, like ES, I'll usually use a 16 profit uh, tick, which is four, four point profit, four point tick. It's one one, it's what I use. Uh, the four points will usually give it enough wiggle room and four points is all I'm trying to get. And, and I've got some others here, that's a four profit, uh, four uh, uh, stop, stop limit. And then these are the eight point, eight trail stop. So I use initials just so I can look at it real quick. The very first one is always the profit, and the second one is always the uh, trail stop. This one is no profit target. It's just jumping in 16-point um, trail stop, and that way, if it's going to run, I can just hop in it, and it's got that trail stop, and it'll just keep on going. And so this one is like having a runner. As that trail stop comes down, it'll use that to stop it out, and that's how I use it. But I hope it helps you understand it. It's uh, really not that uh, hard to understand uh, once you actually get through this part and and see what you know you should set it up on, and it works really well. Um, and the you know the trail stops right here, the break even is there. It's in a little different format, a little hard to understand at first, but hopefully you'll understand it now and be able to trade with it. Um, it looks like that's going to go up again. So if we hit it again, see what happens here fake money but it's kind of fun to watch it move uh, at the end of the day so we missed it there it goes it gapped up after uh, six o'clock it gapped up and took out all the targets so but anyway that's how it works and if you have any questions just uh, holler thanks